Hey everyone, um, I am here to do a current reads for you guys tonight. Um, I keep filming this and I keep rambling and I think it's because I had a lot of coffee earlier um, and I've had a little bit of wine now so it's like for some reason those two factors are making me incredibly chatty more chatty than I usually am so that's saying a lot um, but anyway I haven't done a current reads for a while uh, and unfortunately, you guys may be seeing a lot of the same books in this current reads that you did in the last one, because I haven't read much this month. Like, I've been reading, I went through like three Poirots, um, three Agatha Christie Poirot books in the space of like a day. Not a day. That's, that's not right. A week is what I meant to say. Um, and so I've, I've been really in the mood for those, but I've now halted that because the next one on the list is Murder on the Orient Express, which I'm super excited for, but I'm actually waiting until the beginning of November to read that because I'm buddy reading it with Kate, uh, Kate Howe. She's not a big Agatha Christie fan, but I've talked this book up so much and the movie looks so good that she's going to buddy read it with me. Um, which I'm worried about because I've only talked it up so much because of how much I love the TV adaptation. I have yet to read the book, but if it's anything like most, ugh, most Agatha Christie's, then the book is going to be even better than the TV adaptation, which hopefully means that we will both love it. But anyway, um, the ones that I have read are, uh, Mystery of the Blue Train, Peril at End House and Lord Edgeware Dies slash 13 at Dinner, which are just two titles uh, of the same story. I think 13 at Dinner was the original title, and that is what it's called in my Poirot bind-up that I have of five different Poirot novels. Um, and of those, my favorite was definitely Peril at End House. I loved it. It is now one of my favorite Poirot books ever. Uh, so yeah, really loved reading all of those. And I've read, I've finished like a couple other things. Um, I know I finally finished Small House at Allington by Anthony Trollope. Um, and I, it was an abrupt ending, but I really, like I enjoyed it, but it was more abrupt than I was expecting because I basically was thinking something was going to happen that didn't happen. And so when it ended without that thing happening, I was like, what? So it just felt like a full stop when it wasn't, if that makes any sense. Um, and I think I've, I've read a couple other things, but I can't think of them at the moment. So if I go back and look at my Goodreads page, I'll put those in the description. Uh, so the rest of the month, I really want to read um, things that I started this month or last month um, that I just haven't finished. Um, so I think I'll start with the one that I don't have to show you, which is, um, it's Cousin Phyllis and Other Stories by Elizabeth Gaskell, which I have a complete Gaskell works on my Kindle, and I am buddy reading, uh, Cousin Phyllis and Other Stories with Kate Howe, and it's been interesting because since I have her complete works as one giant thing on my Kindle, um, instead of uh, doing what Kate's doing, where I think Kate's just going in order of, uh, what's in her text. I am having to, like, jump around this Kindle book because the stories are in a different order, um, since, again, it's her entire complete works. Uh, I am super behind on this so far, unfortunately, so Kate, if you see this, I'm so sorry. I've just been in a really bad, I, I can go ahead and say reading slump, to be honest. Um, but right now I'm, mm, I can't tell how far into chapter one I am because it is the Kindle um, one. So I'm reading it on my phone, which is a tiny screen. But um, I'm a little ways into chapter one and it's like three chapters. And so far I am enjoying it. It's weird uh, language. Like it's language that I'm able to comprehend and kind of, translate like okay that word at that time in that place means this word for right now um but there's like there's one thing that's bothering me um they keep calling she keeps 
having her characters call their home the home place. And that doesn't seem redundant, but it just seems unnecessary. Like adding the word place to your home. I just, I don't get it. Um, but again, like that's probably just how that dialect was at that time. Um, but yeah, I am enjoying the story so far. It definitely seems intense and I'm, I am enjoying it. Uh, but I am very behind because I was supposed to be like three or four stories ahead at this point. Not three or four stories ahead. Um, three or four stories further than I am currently. So I need to fix that. Sorry, Kate. Um, and next thing, I'll talk about another one I'm behind on. I'm behind on all of these, but this is another buddy read that's current that I'm behind on, unfortunately. And that is Waverly by Sir Walter Scott. I am buddy reading this with Gemma from first nonfic books, but also now Whiskey and Woodhouse. And Whiskey and Woodhouse is the channel she'll be talking about this on because it's fiction. Um, now we decided to buddy read this like a month or two ago. We said we were going to buddy read this. And uh, at the beginning of the month, we were like, hey, let's do um, 10 chapters a day and we can finish it in like a week that'll be great. And for me, I was just so intimidated, I guess, by this edition that I didn't, I barely started. Um, this is, this has an introduction in the front, an introduction in the back, a preface in the back, um, like tons and tons of biography notes and a bibli, not biography notes, um, bibliography notes and then yeah like another preface another introduction all of scott's notes then editor's notes this is just super intimidating oh plus one thing that it does have that i'm excited for is it has a chronology of events and like a timeline which is great um that may have been two different words for the same thing anyway so yeah, that's great. But because all of this is in this, it's very intimidating. And also, um, this is going to sound terrible, but I have started to use, and I've talked to you guys about this before, basically since I started BookTube, I really have started to use audiobooks as like reading crutches. And this does not have an audiobook that I can find. And so at this point, this is going to sound terrible. I'm going to sound like I can't read by myself, but basically reading a 400 page classic without an audiobook is really hard for me. And that's just really sad. Um, but at this point, we've gotten to the point where um, we've knocked it down to five chapters a day because Gemma got... I, th I want to say like 75 pages in and she was having trouble um, but she was having trouble with like the actual story I was having trouble kind of working up the courage to start it and I've I've gotten like five pages in and I enjoy the writing so far but um, then it turns out Gemma was having trouble with the story uh, so I think it was like the language she said so then we knocked it from 10 chapters a day to 5 chapters a day. No idea how that's going for her. For me, I haven't even started, and I feel really, really bad about it. Um, but I'm going to try to do... Um, just sit down for an hour a day, read the 25 pages, because it's about... 5 chapters is about 25 pages um, a day, and I'm going to try to start that tomorrow, and then just go the rest of the month and keep going through November until I finish it. Um, and hopefully I'll love it. Hopefully I'm being scared for nothing. So yeah, that's that one. And then another sort of current buddy read that I'm behind on. I, I am terrible. I should not do a bunch of buddy reads at the same time. Um, but that's Mary Barton by Elizabeth Gaskell. Um, I am buddy reading this with Annie from Bloom TV, and the good thing about this is we both got behind at the same time, um, 
And then we were like, okay, well, we'll just finish the rest in like a week. And I don't know if Annie has or not, but I definitely haven't. Uh, I am 200 pages in and it's almost 500 pages. Um, I'm going to be good about this this time. And when I sit down to finish it, I'm actually going to sit down and listen to the audio while I follow along in the physical copy. I am not going to just listen to the audio and do like 10 other things at once because that's what happened with the first 200 pages of this. So I got lost at points where I probably shouldn't have gotten lost. So I'm going to be better about that and finish this um, one one day this week. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And then I want to finally finish Emma. I was buddy reading this one with Janet uh, from Swirly Girly Reads and Amanda J. And... This was a month ago at this point, so I I got like a third of the way through, and luckily I've already read this. So when they got to whatever's beyond a third of the way through, um, I was still able to have full um, immersive conversations about it because I have read this before, but I got way behind on this, and I need to listen to this and finish it. What I think I'm going to do with this one is... Um, listen to this while I clean, um, have this be the one that I listen to while I do that, um, because since I've already read it, I don't need to pay as close attention as I do with something like Mary Barton. So that's going to happen one day this week. And then I really want to finish Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. I have read The Fountain of Fair Fortune and, um... The Wizard and the Hopping Pot? Yeah. And so the ones I have left are The Warlock's Hairy Heart, um, Babbity Rabbity and the Cackling Stump, and then, of course, The Tale of the Three Brothers. I'm pretty sure what I remember from the first one is, that, from my first reading of this, is that Fountain, Fountain of Fair Fortune is my favorite of the five. Say that five times fast. Um, and I think it'll still be my favorite on second reading even though I really love The Tale of the Three Brothers and Babbity Rabbity as well. Um, is it Babbity Rabbity? Is that her name? Yes. So, anyway, finish that. And I have, I don't know if I showed you guys, I have a little mini Ron holding my place. Uh, and then I really want to finish Something Fresh by P.G. Woodhouse. I've been in the middle of this for quite a long while. Um, so this is on the list for this week. And then finishing The Moreland Cottage is also on my list. I'm about halfway through. Um, so I really need to finish this finally because I've been halfway through it for like a month. And I also want to read... At this point, I don't think I can finish Carry On Jeeves, uh, but I have nine more stories in this. So, um, I've only read one so far. There's only 10. Uh, but I think if I read one a day starting tomorrow, I can at least finish, uh, what is it, like eight stories? So I'll be able to finish this on the 1st of November if I read one story a day. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. And then, uh, things that I haven't shown you that I really want to finish... Um, I really want to try to read A Woman of No Importance by Oscar Wilde because that will uh, use one of my challenges or maybe even two of my challenges for Victober. Um, I want to try to catch up with Shake Tube, which means reading um, Henry the Fourth Parts 1 and 2 on my own because that's not a part of Shake Tube. But they just read Henry the Fifth. Um, this past Friday, so in order to read Henry V, I need to read those two. And then I also want to read Hamlet, because that is what is going to be talked about this coming Friday. Um, so I want to read those five plays. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it might, because they're only about three hours apiece, so that'd be really cool if I could read those. And then, last but certainly not least, I really want to listen to Frankenstein, because I have Frankenstein narrated by Dan Stevens. And that I want to save 
for Halloween day because that would be perfect. So hopefully if I finish everything else, that will happen. I don't know if I'll finish everything else. We will see, but hopefully. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys are reading for October. If you're reading any Halloween-y things or mystery things, if you're participating in Victober, I would love to know. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.